Hello and welcome to Shredder Zoo. Today we're in the sauropod paddock taking a look at three of the zoo's biggest residents. In this paddock we have the Diplodocus, the Brontosaurus and the gigantic Titanosaurus. I'll be covering one of them in this video. So let's start with a look at the biggest dinosaur in the game of Ark, the Titanosaurus. This dinosaur represents an unusual species here in the game, having no real basis in scientific fact. Let me explain. Fossils of the Titanosaurus were found in India in the 1870s. These consisted of some vertebrae and limb bones. These apparently had some unique features not seen in other sauropods and were assigned to a new species, Titanosaurus, and established the group known as the Titanosaurs, which includes some of the largest sauropods known. However, these unique features have since been proven to be very common in Titanosaurs and so it's really impossible to tell if the original fossils were from a unique species or from any of the known species of Titanosaur. The Titanosaurus species became what's known as a waste basket taxon, where whenever a paleontologist found Titanosaur fossils that were too fragmentary or indistinct to be sure of the species, it was often just assigned to the Titanosaurus. Thus, Titanosaurus is considered a nomen dubium, literally a dubious name, and is not officially scientifically recognised. Even if the original fossils did belong to a unique species that could be called a Titanosaurus, the model used to represent it here is pretty inaccurate, at least as far as size is concerned. Titanosaurus is considered to have grown from 9 to 12 metres long, much smaller than the Brontosaurus. That's not to say huge Titanosaurs did not exist, they did, they're just not called Titanosaurus. For example, possibly one of the biggest dinosaurs ever to walk the earth was a Titanosaur called Argentinosaurus. Fossil remains are incomplete, but size estimates range from 22 to 35 metres long. The armour plating visible on the back of this dinosaur is known in some Titanosaurs. Saltosaurus was the first discovered. They are bony growths within the skin called osteoderms. Interestingly, a nesting site for Saltosaurus has been discovered. Nests containing an average of 25, 11 to 12 centimetre eggs have been found in a site that is thought to have been used by hundreds of female Saltosaurus. The fossilised embryos inside these eggs have revealed that the bony armour along their backs were present even when the young Saltosaurus was inside the egg. The large number and close proximity of the nests to one another has also been taken to indicate herding behaviour in Saltosaurus, perhaps as an additional defence against predators like Carnotaurus. The Titanosaurs, the Brontosaurus and the Diplodocus are all very closely related and share many of the same characteristics. In the next video of the series we shall be taking a look at another of these residents of the sauropod paddock. So I hope you'll join me next time, and as always I hope you've enjoyed the video and you've learned something new. If you did, please let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below, Well, I'll see you next time here at Shredder Zoo. Goodbye.